All right, so first of all, you might have noticed my skin looks a little different from last time because I made myself a skin. I made this. I mean, the pants I took directly from a, uh, what? I took the pants directly from a tutorial because I tried so hard. I was so confused. I was, I tried so hard to use my own colors and it didn't. So the pants were pretty much, are pretty much directly ripped off. But everything else I made. So if you didn't know, Lavi, my character Lavender, is a pretty much a human cat, uh, hu like a human subspecies, that, like a pretty much essentially a cat girl, but it's like biological. Uh, I had a lot of fun designing her, and now she exists. And I have, I this was really fun to make. As you can see, uh, new skin, love. And not a lot has changed here, which is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing some house renovations, because this house is pretty much exactly the same from when I joined day one. Uh, and there's not much in here, except for this, where I got went to a really far off jungle and got some stuff with a uh, ghostly the other day. But this is not where... <laughs> Why is there a parrot here? <laughs> Look, parrot. How are you doing? <laughs> Barrett, how are you doing? Okay, so if you don't know the story of Endertide, I have some stuff to get you guys up on. Uh, there was the first major event happened while my computer was offline, and I was able to get on Minecraft, but I couldn't stream it, which made me very sad <laughs> because I wanted to stream it. But the first major event happened on Endertide where Ace was the first person in Endertide. You know what, okay. I'll just start from the beginning. But from the history books, from what we know, there was a there was a there was a town here, and the town was called Endertide. Now everything was fine and dandy. Uh, there were two brothers, Hero and ooh, there were two brothers, and one of them got mad that the other brother was more popular and more everything, and just got really jealous. And because of that, he started getting corrupted with this dark magic which was not good. So then, the other brother, the, the one that was actually sane, uh, got together a bunch of the townspeople and they fought, and they fought the brother and basically sealed him off so that he wouldn't hurt anybody else. And then the town died. Pretty much no one was left. It was left in ruins for who knows how long. And after some unknown amount of time, Ace appeared. Ace appeared at the spawner. Now the, the spawner is the thing that I spawned in. It is literally the spawn of the world, but also just uh, it is the canonical spawning. It is where all of, it is where all of our characters started off. We all appeared from the spawner. Some of us remember where we came from. Some of us don't. And because of that, uh, interesting stuff happens. Uh, Lavi included. Lavi has no idea what happens minus what she has in her book and i'll tell you more about that in a second so so after ace appeared and started fixing up Endertide because like you know the town was pretty much in ruins and they were just going around and fixing stuff up uh then some more people appeared Roz appeared pretty much fell into ace's arms and pretty much you get the cast that we have today. Everybody came from the spawner. Everyone started making their homes. You know, we all have our own places on the server in the town. Some of us have, you know, have warps and we're like hundreds or thousands of blocks away. And some of us are like in the mountain like I am. That's pretty much the basic history. So that brings us to the first major event. The first major event was started at the podium. We were all called to the podium by Ace because Ace noticed that the history book that we like where we th this is where we found out the history of Endertide and what happened before was pretty much our only link to what happened in the past was missing and Ace was like hey uh the book's missing so we all set we all set out on a search to look for the book because we uh, book's kind of important to us so we set out, we look, and then BAM! We come back and suddenly 
the podium is trashed. The podium is trashed. There are signs everywhere saying, remember, don't forget the past. You can't, you can't hide the past, that kind of stuff. And it was really weird. Then we found a pressure plate which had a secret room that said go to the mansion we go to the mansion there is some there's a puzzle that we had to go around and find the numbers we find the numbers we come back and we, we open it and we find a couple things we find one we find a note to orion which we don't know who that is we we don't know who orion is and the note was very weird we also find another note, which is a page of what I, I want to say it is the page of what we assume is the actual history. We don't know. <laughs> it's, it's very confusing. So then we all sit down at the round table, which is in the mansion, and we say, okay, we got to find who did this. But how can we enforce any rules if we don't have a government? We're all pretty much anarchists right now. We're just living and chilling and existing. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> so we sit down, we discuss stuff, and we decide to have an election. And the election will be our next major event. I am not going to be a candidate. Uh, I do not want. I do not want to be a candidate. Uh, but. Yeah, we're actually going to vote for uh, a candidate. That means one of this, like, alleged cult group uh, could become the leader. It could be one of us. And yeah, that's where we are right now. Other important news. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but because I couldn't stream, I couldn't do this, but it is canonical that I was adopted by Ace and am now Ace's child. I am their daughter. <laughs> Now that I've explained to you the history, the first major event, my relationships with characters, we need to start building our house. This is my underground area. I pretty much just came down here, uh, and that's why I, that's why my house hasn't been worked on. I pretty much just put my bed there, and that's it. I've tried to cover up the lava to make it easier. There is some stuff there. There's some mining there. I've mined through these caves. This has pretty much been my home for the last couple weeks because I haven't worked on my home. And this is what I have. I got all kinds of stuff. So my plan for the house is we're going to want to, one, we're going to want to look at it, see how we can expand, probably like take out the stuff that's already there and basically make it into a little bit of a, a bigger place. We're going to have a library and a study, a bedroom, some form of kitchen, um, the main hallway, and then the entrance room, right? So it's going to be a little bit more split, but we got to dig that stuff out. <laughs> what was those? I am, I'm either really bad at PvP or those zombies were fast. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm really bad at PvP. <laughs> oh, there's a craft table right there. Okay, so first of all, we don't need a chest. What am I talking about? We have all these barrels. From Bunny. Yep. That was a sign from one Bunny pretty much went around and filled everybody else's with cake. Uh, let me tell you, that was pretty crazy. Uh, this is a bad idea. Am I gonna get nothing out of this? Eh, I got the obsidian bag. That's better than I thought it was gonna be. All right, we're tearing down the house. We're tearing down the house. We're gonna make ourselves a a a more legitimate house for Lavi to live in, for us to live in, because Lavi is currently like semi homeless because this place does not do anything for her. <laughs>
there's no way to get inside my house. I just realized that. Okay, okay, I have an idea. So what I'm thinking is right here. Or like along this wall, right? Uh, do we have any signs? Did I bring any signs with me? All right, uh... Okay, so this is gonna, so this is right here. This is the main hall. Up here, we're gonna have like a ladder of like a ladder and then we'll have a little loft up there. And this is gonna be the bedroom. We'll have this right here be a room, and this will be the this will be the uh, this will be the uh, study. And then, besides that, this can just probably be our uh, storage. So that's how the house is looking right now. And that's gonna be the end of this stream. Uh, thank you for, thank you for watching. And I'll be streaming again, hopefully, on Tuesday, where we'll continue gathering resources and making our house look more like a house. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.